Hello, and thank you for coming back to another set of readings from Lotus Love Tarot 555. Thank you guys so much for your love and continued support of our channel and our Instagram. I just love you, and I just always want to begin our readings by saying that. Uh, for those who are joining us for the first time, welcome, and thank you for joining us. Now, we are going into a full moon in Scorpio on May 18th, okay? Now, this is going to be a very, very intense blue full moon, okay? Also called the flower moon. Also be mindful that there are four planets that are currently in Taurus as well. Uh, Venus is actually coming back home into, uh, into Taurus. And you have uh, Mercury, you have sun, the sun, and you also have Uranus that are all going to be in uh, Taurus as of tomorrow and also be mindful that there are planets right now currently in retrograde so we have a lot of intense um, emotions a lot of intense intense energy that is happening right now and so how you can play into this is setting your full moon intentions and for those who need to know how to do that we have a video on it and it's under our full moon reading playlist but it's important that you use this energy to bring up any old emotions, anything that you need to purge out of your system to give you clarity, to, to clear it all out. Um, because if you don't, uh, trust me, the, the universe will push it out for you. So it's just very, very important that we use this energy to work on our behalf, okay? We need to make the energy work for us um, as opposed to against us. So what we're going to do today, we're just going to try to give you an idea of where you need to be focusing um, as you begin to set your full moon intentions, okay? For those that are joining us as cross watchers, welcome and thank you for joining us as well. Now, you can apply this reading to your sun, your moon, your rising, and for some, even your, uh, your Venus sign. And do remember that the messages do flip-flop. So if it doesn't relate to you, it will relate to your partner. Okay? All right. I love you guys so, so much. And now, on to your reading. Hello, my Scorpios. And we know that the full moon is in your sign. And I can tell because things have been quite intense around here especially dealing with people's emotions. So let's just see what's going on with you as you begin to set your full moon intentions. Holy Spirit, Divine Creator, universe, what messages need to go forth for the sign of Scorpio as they begin to set their intentions for the blue flower full moon occurring on May 18, 2019? What messages need to go forth for the sign of Scorpio? What do our Scorpios need to know as they begin to set their intentions for the blue flower Full moon occurring on May 18th, 2019. The messages need to go for okay, flip right in the middle of the day. Okay, my Scorpios. It's a lot going on right now. Holy Spirit, divine creator of the universe. What messages need to go forth for the sign of Scorpio as they begin to set their intentions for the blue flower full moon occurring on May. 18, 2019. Oh, I felt like something was about to happen. I, I felt energy in the middle of that day. Okay. Holy Spirit, divine creator of the universe, what messages need to go forth for the sign of Scorpio as they begin to set their intention on the blue flower? Ooh. Okay, I'm going to leave these separate because they came out separately. So I feel like something needs to be talked about independently with those cards. Holy Spirit, divine creator of the universe. What messages need to go forth for the sign of Scorpio as they begin to set their intentions for the blue flower full moon on May 18th, 2019? What messages need to go forth for the sign of Scorpio? What do our Scorpios need to know? as they begin to set their intentions for the blue flower full moon, May 18, 2019. Okay. Holy Spirit, divine creator of the universe, what messages? Let me turn this. This camera actually keeps turning by itself. I moved it twice. Let's try it that way. 
Holy Spirit, divine creation. That's what messages need to go forth for the sign of Scorpio. As they begin to set their intentions on the blue flower full moon on May 18th, 2019. What messages need to go forth for the sign of Scorpio? What Scorpios need to know. What Scorpios need to know. They begin to set their intentions. I felt like a lot was going to happen. I felt it. Oh my goodness. I felt it. I felt it. I felt them trying to come out. I felt it. And I couldn't believe all those cars were trying to come out, but it was literally trying to come out. Okay, we got to get into it. We got to get into it. Okay, first out the box, Scorpios, is separation. Time apart from your partners on the horizon. So I feel like it's a lot going on because right now, like I said before, especially our low vibrational Scorpios. And what do I mean when I say low vibrational? You're not doing the inner work. You're really going to be catching hell around this time. You're really, really going to be catching hell. That's why you have to stay in a high vibration. You have to say, speak positivity, uh, positiveness. You have to um, walk in it. You have to start your day in it. It's just so, so important because for some of you, separation is going to be on a higher horizon because deception. Someone is wearing a false self mask in this relationship. Somebody's not telling the truth. It could be you, Scorpios, or it could be your partner. If it's your partner, you being a Scorpio, you're going to sense it all. You're going to know exactly what's going on. You're going deep with this. You're going to be asking those questions. And if it's you, you're going deep trying to trying to keep it a secret. You're going deep trying to, you know, make somebody believe something else when really this is going on. You're going deep trying not to tell your true emotions and, and hiding, you know, um, but true doing a, being, a, being a scorpion, okay? Being a scorpion, you know, just rearing back and just waiting for the sting. Okay, so really look into this, Scorpios, especially for those that's resonating with. It says consult an expert. More information is needed. Contact someone with expertise in this area. This should resonate with you what this is talking about. But let's just keep going so I can try to get an understanding of what you need to consult an expert about. It could be some of you um, counseling. But the thing about it is you have to even be careful who you go to for counseling. I recommend going to someone who deal, deals with spiritual inner, spiritual inner work, spiritual healing. I also, when you say consult an expert, you can't get any more clarity than going to nature. And I'm going to say this in every reading, every time I get the opportunity, I cannot express it enough. You get clarity going into nature, going to a lake, going to a beach, going into the woods just to sit there and clear your mind out going to a park and watching the the ducks and the fish you get clarity with that and it says helpful person someone wants to help you think whom that might be initiate context so you have two cards that came out side by side that's dealing with the same thing consulting an expert and this expert is going to help you with this situation okay and for some of you that could mean several different things it could mean you know somebody's going to help you with the spiritual inner work somebody's going to help you you know maybe getting your mind together for a business that you want to start someone somebody you might need to talk to just to help understand who you are this is that could be a lot of situation but you got to come out of this fear scorpio let go of fear now because whoever you're dealing with they say the person you're asking about they're trustworthy so this could be you that's not the trustworthy person, okay? And it says, lean on God and the angels for support. This came out separately. And so this, I'm saying, I'm feeling like spirit is saying, you're not listening to me. You're doing your own thing. I need you to listen to me. This card came out by itself, okay? And so I think you really need to hone into that. And it says, son, um, your son is watched over and protected as he explores the world. So this could mean that you could have a child right now that you may be worried about a son. You, some of you could be um, getting pregnant in your future with a son. Some of you could have had a, a son that you've lost, okay? Um, you could be a son of somebody and your parents are worried about you or people are worried about you. Whichever way it's resonating with you, but apparently a son is very important in this situation where your, your mind is focused on not only just this, this situation, but your son as well, okay? Then you had all of these falling. I do believe, I'm just a reader. I just, I just feel like, you know, if my spirit is telling me that all these cards relate, I'm going to read them. 
Um, sometimes, you know, I might have a whole lot of cards fall. I'm not feeling, I feel like it's a mistake. But in this sense, I was feeling like you were going to get a lot of messages out of that deck. I was already feeling it, and that's true enough what happened. So I'm going to run with these very quickly, and let's see if it resonates. Your first card is wait. I feel like you just need to wait a minute and stop rushing things because you got a lot going on here with this separation and deception. So when we're talking about wait, we're saying wait. Wait before you speak. Wait before you, you just... You know, automatically feel like a situation is this week. Get all your facts. Maybe that's what this is about. Consult the person. Consult this person that's trying to help you getting all your facts before you speak on something that you're not sure about. You need to wait, okay, till you get all the information. You need to wait before you go off on somebody because you may be going off on something that's totally incorrect and then you're going to be out there looking like a fool. Wait, Scorpio. And that's followed by a year from now. So when you begin to do this inner work, things are going to happen for you. But it's going to take some time because you need to do this work. And the work that I'm looking at that you need to do, especially with this relationship here, it takes time. It takes time. And it says unlikely. So what do I? What am I feeling about this card that means unlikely? I feel like nothing's going to manifest. It's going to be unlikely for anything to happen for you until you start really uh, listening to spirit and letting go of fear, okay? Spirit says, here, I'm going to take this card, I'm going to take this card, because I feel like this is what the, this is talking about. It says, lean on God and the angels for support, and you let go of your fear. Now, I feel like none of this is going to happen for you. It's unlikely for anything to be able to manifest for you until you begin to do what Spirit is telling you to do, until you begin to follow the rules of the universe. Yes, and this is what I'm saying. The Spirit is agreeing with me. Yes, yes, that's what you need to do. Because there's no need to worry. Even though I know it's painful, I know you're going through a transition, I know it's a lot happening with you mentally, there's still no need to worry. Because spirit, that's why spirit says, lean on God and angels for the support. Okay? And you don't have to worry. But you have to learn how to do that and let go of your fear. Listen. And listen to your intuition. Listen to what your, your inner spirit is telling you. You know, even if you don't want to do it, you're going to have to do it. That's why Spirit is saying, well, you listen. I'm giving you the signs, but listen to what I'm telling you to do. And when you begin to listen, you're going to hear back on your directions in the very near future. Your change is going to come a year from now in the card that we had earlier. But when you begin to listen to your own intuition, you're going to begin to get your messages in the very, very near future. But you're going to have to be assertive in doing it, Scorpio. You're going to have to be assertive in doing purposely and intentionally doing your inner work. Intentionally, you know, being positive. Intentionally, you know, not saying things when you want to say it, when your mind is telling you to say it and, and hurt somebody's feelings. You're going to have to be intentional and intentional in not doing it and being assertive and being positive. Because there's something better when you do that. Something's better when you do that. You're going to be able to receive opportunities. But right now, it's not the right time because you're not ready. You're just simply not ready. You're not ready. Look at that. Because meditation is going to bring the answers. I can't make this stuff up. I just, I just, I cannot make this up. I cannot make this up. Unbelievable. Scorpios, if you need to take this um, message to another uh, level, can't even talk. You need to take this message to another level. I do have private readings that are available. Um, information pertaining to that can be found below. Um, until next time, my loves.